up you guys welcome back to my channel for those who are new here my name is Ashley welcome and for all of my returning subscribers welcome back so today we are getting into it's kind of like my 18th slash 19th month update on my hair um as you guys can see I feel like that I've my hair has been growing like significantly so let's just get into it so first things first as you can see, you know, my hair is like really starting to mature. It's coming into its own. I've had a lot of recent comments about the thickness of my locks and how I have retained the thickness. First of all, my hair in general is just extremely thick and coarse. So very, very thick strands is what I'm already working with. So. That's genetic, but then I also feel like there are some things, some protocols that I take, I guess, to maintain the thickness of my hair. Um, first things first, I don't do a lot of styling. Styling at all, really. The most that I do for the most part is maybe I'll pull it up into like a loose ponytail, maybe a half up, half down, or maybe up underneath a scarf. But that's pretty much the extent of my <laughs> That's pretty much the extent of my styled, you know, lock do's. Um, so that's one thing. I try not to manipulate my hair a whole lot. I don't retwist my hair a whole lot. I wash my hair maybe about once a month or once every six weeks or so. And at that time, I'll either decide like, if I feel like my hair just needs to be like fully retwisted, then I'll do that. But sometimes I'll go without. And that's just what, it, what it's been. And then also, I do not use a whole lot of product on my hair um, for several reasons. One being that I don't like the idea of buildup. I feel like buildup equals scent and odors and <laughs> it compacts your locks over time because it's just kind of getting stuck and glued together. And that's not something that I wanna deal with. So I'm just gonna run through real quick of the products that I do like to use and how I like to use them. Shampoo is the most important thing that you can do to keep up the health of your hair. A lot of people think that it's conditioners and moisturizers and things like that. However, if you're not cleaning your hair correctly from the giddy up, it don't matter what you slap on it after that. It ain't gonna work if it's built up. So. I know that you guys have seen this here plenty of freaking times, but of course the Talia Wajid, this is the herbal cleanser. Absolutely love this stuff. I give my hair two really, really good thorough washes with this before I move on to any other shampoo. But not gonna talk a whole lot about that. I have a whole video where I'm like giving a full review on that. But the shampoo that I have been recently been, ugh, the shampoo that I've recently been using that I absolutely fell in love with and I feel like this will be a repurchase is the Carol's Daughter Wash Day Delight. I actually received this product through Influencer like many, many months ago. I wasn't really messing around with it at the, at the time because first of all, I had just shampooed my hair and like I said, I only wash my hair like every six weeks or so. So it just took me a little bit of time to, to get around to using it. But once I used it, I was like, whoa, like it's really, really good. So it's a uh, water to foam shampoo. It's, it has aloe in it, no sulfates, no parabens, no silicones, artificial colors, etc. What I love about the shampoo is it's not so thick and sticky so I get a good you know distribution around my hair obviously it has the nozzle on it so I can get directly down to my scalp and it lathers up like a dream it is absolutely amazing and it makes my hair feel moisturized without feeling like there's you know stuff left behind on it because again I don't want nothing left behind on my hair if I'm cleaning it, you know what I'm saying? Like I want the moisture to be retained, which is naturally gonna happen as long as there are some really good nourishing ingredients in the products that we use. But you don't want your hair to feel, like you should be able to do this and like, ooh, I can still feel this product. You don't wanna feel the product. You wanna feel your hair being rejuvenated. And that's what I feel like I get with this combination. 
And then as far as conditioners, again, I have kind of gone back and forth with using a conditioner, not using a conditioner, using one that was a little bit more geared towards uh, locks. And then now I landed here and I think I have found some heat, some peace. So again, just like the shampoo, I want to use a conditioner that is going to go in, do its job. And then when I go to rinse it out, I need it to be completely water soluble. So with this guy, I feel like I may have hit the jackpot. So this is the Allocate Natural Honey and Sage Deep Conditioner. Y'all, this smells like you can eat it. I mean, I don't know that you can. I mean, you could try it if you want to, but it just, oh, it smells so good. And it looks like cookie batter. <laughs> like I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat it, I'm gonna eat it. But what I like about this, again, it goes in, does its job. It has a wonderful scent to it. It leaves my hair feeling real soft and manageable. What I do is obviously after I shampoo, give it a really, really good thorough rinsing. I put this in and then I do whatever I need to do as far as like, you know, showering is concerned. And then I rinse this completely, completely out of my hair. I make sure that I go in between my parts, rinsing it really, really good and like squeezing my hair, making sure there's no like, you know, little bits still caught up in my, in my hair or whatever. But this has done the job. I've only used it twice right now, but I feel like it made a really, really significant difference in my retwist the past couple times that I use this. So as far as styling is concerned, like I already mentioned, I don't do too many like up styles or like elaborate hairdos. The most I do really is just kind of retwist my, my new growth and I just kind of leave it big. And I feel like that works for me because I, I less is more. So as far as products are concerned, I have been using the Talia Waji Lock It Up. However, I don't know that I want to read or I don't know that I want to repurchase this specific Lock It Up. They have the Tight Grip, I think is what it's called. And that's the one that I usually, that's the product that I used on my daughter's hair when she still had her locks. And I really like the consistency of that product a little bit better. This one feels more like, you know, a jelly gel and I just don't, I don't like the idea of it and I don't like the consistency in my fingers when I'm trying to like retwist. I just prefer the other one better. I'm sure this works really well on a lot of people and obviously I'm going to finish this product up, but I don't, I don't think I'm going to go back to it. I think I'm going to go back to the tight grip. So I use that to retwist. Um, I go, I've showed you guys before in the past that I create a rose water and rosemary moisture mix. This is kind of what I use as like my leave-in conditioner as well as a refresher in between styles. Um, and then as far as oil is concerned, I have been using this one product. This is the same bottle that I purchased when I first locked my hair. And of course, like I said, it's been about, about 19 months since uh, I started my locks and I still got like a little bit left. And really, I wasn't the only person in the house that's been using this. So this is the Allocate Natural Naturally Unique Lock Oil. It's just a really nice light oil. I feel like it does its job as far as like moisturizing my scalp. I do put a little bit in my hands to run through my locks. I don't put a lot of oils in my hair because our hair natural or our scalp naturally produces oils that then you know kind of make their way down the hair shaft and as long as you know you give your hair a good conditioning when you shampoo it you should be fine after that anytime that i feel like my hair is a little bit more on the dry side i usually go to this first to see if i can just kind of you know revive it rejuice it up a little bit and for the most part that works but whenever that's not enough i go back to this oil so really that is it for this update. As I said, I don't really do anything. I'm not, I'm not manipulating it a lot. There's no like secrets that I'm doing over here. I wrap my hair at night. I keep my hands out of it, which I, I recommend everybody. If you have loose natural hair, if you have relaxed hair, if you have locks, if you have anything, if you guys didn't know, I'm a hairstylist as well. Not a loctician, but 
I, I know some stuff about hair. If you keep your hands out of your hair, you are more likely to have healthier hair because you're not constantly toying with it. And that's just been my method all my life really. Like once I got to a point where my hair was really healthy, I'm like, all right, I, I need to look need to leave it alone. Let it do, <laughs> let her do what she does and she will grow, she will flourish. So yeah, that is pretty much it. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this. I guess I can mention my little lock jewelry here. These guys, I actually, where are you at? I made this myself just using um, some copper wire and I just rolled it around a pencil to fit my locks and yeah i didn't want to get anything dangly or too heavy or anything like that i just wanted some sparkle here and there so that's something new i guess but other than that like i've been loving this journey i've really been enjoying the middle part situation i don't know if i mentioned that already but i decided to like go with the middle part because i feel like i have a little bit more versatility when as where I was parting it on the side and then setting it that way. Didn't want to do anything else. So I've really been liking this look. And I guess I can mention too the loose ends that you guys, some of you guys that have been here before. Um, we, were, we were trying to see if they were going to stick around or not. And for the most part, that's why I feel like my hair is in like the maturing stage because for the most part, like I have just very, very little bit bits here and there. But for the most part, my, my ends are starting to round off and like go within itself. So I'm not mad at that. I feel like the color is gonna be gone really, really soon. So I've been considering possibly just doing like a few chunks here and there of some blonde or maybe doing the tips blonde. I don't know yet. I don't want to ruin it. Like I said, less is more. And if that means that I got to rock my natural hair color a little bit longer than so be it. I like it the way it is. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this update. If you guys have locks, what are some products that you enjoy? What are some ways that you try to keep your, your routine simple? Um, I would love to hear. I love interacting with all you other lock bays out here in these streets. So I wish you all nothing but health, wealth, and prosperity through this week weird ass time that we are going through. I hope you, I hope that you all are staying healthy and into the next one. Thank you guys again. Peace out.